वेलकम टू विनुतास मैथ चैनल दिस इज द एटीन वीडियो ऑफ द मॉड्यूल वन डी डी सी ओ दैट इज डिजिटल डिजाइन एंड कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सब्जेक्ट दिस इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द वी टी यू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू स्कीम इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू राइट द स्केलेटन ऑफ द के मैप फॉर थ्री वेरिएबल्स एज वेल एज फॉर द फोर वेरिएबल्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट how to group the outputs what we wrote that is ones in the k map okay we are having three types of grouping that is first is pair quad next is octet okay what do you mean by pair pair meaning we are going to group two adjacent ones okay two adjacent ones in our k map if we are having any two adjacent ones then we can make a pair okay meaning for example let me take this k map okay i have taken a k map if i am having a one one here this one is being adjacent to this one so here i can make a group of these two this is called as a pair okay so pair is nothing but we are going to group the adjacent ones how many number of ones we are going to group two adjacent ones okay similarly for quad how many number of ones quadrangle or quadrilateral how many sides it will be having four so for quad four adjacent ones similarly for octet oct it is eight adjacent ones okay so for example if i am having one one here see here 1 2 3 4 how many ones i am having four ones all these four ones are adjacent okay so what i can make i can make a quad fine if i am having eight adjacent ones see okay all these are adjacent so instead of making a quad i can make it as an oct fine so now you got to know about what is pair quad and oct now the basic thing while grouping any number of ones we will always try to group the maximum number of ones we will always try to group maximum number of ones okay how many number of ones maximum ones are there here so maximum ones are 8 so we will always try to group octet first okay while grouping in a k map we will always look for an possibility of octet next if there is no possibility of octet we have to go for the quad if not quad then at least we have to go for a pair if not pair we can't do anything we have to leave that cell or block as a single okay so this is the rule so what i'll do is i'll start with an octet examples okay the possible structures for an octet and then we will move on to the possibility various possibilities for the quad then the various possibilities for a pair and how to write if i group any single term how to write that term fine first before this let me take let me take this example so here i am having one one how many number of ones are there two ones these are adjacent so i can make a group what that group is called as a pair why only two ones okay so 
only two ones are there okay before grouping this if I try to solve this using a boolean theorems how we will solve for this one what is the term it is a b bar and c bar d correct okay for this one a b bar c bar d so i'll write it as a b bar c bar d correct plus for this one it is a b bar c d a b bar c d correct however simplifying we were taking the maximum common variables okay so a same b bar same c bar is not same here c bar here i am having c here d same so what i'll take a b bar d common next here i'll end up with c bar next here i'm having c what is c bar plus c according to the postulates the theorems c plus c bar any variable plus the complement of it will be equal to 1 so it is a b bar d into 1 so it is 1 into any variable is the same variable so that is 1 into x is x so a b bar d into 1 is a b bar d fine this is how we were reducing using a boolean postulates and theorems we will get the same answer by using the k map but in a very short method fine so after grouping what we have to do see here the variables corresponding to these two numbers or these two group is this block that is a b bar and c bar d and c d correct c bar d and c d here a b bar fine we have to check for which variable is being changed meaning if d is there d bar must be there in the next okay see a b bar is there only one term it is not being changed so it has to be retained see in this block c bar changed to c d remained same so what is changed c bar changed to c so we leave this okay so we will leave c bar why it has changed c bar changed to c what is c bar plus c it is one so the remaining term leave this c leave so what we will remain with a b bar next it is d the same answer the same answer the same answer okay but in only one step okay this is the power of k map now let us discuss about the grouping the first one is octet possibilities of octet here i'm already ready with the skeleton what i have to write here only the cell numbers okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here i have to write 8 9 this is 10 11 12 13 and this is 14 15 correct no okay for octet how many number of ones must be there eight ones i am just giving you an overview how to uh, group the things if there is eight ones adjacent like this okay like this you have to solve i'm giving you an out out of view okay so let me take here i'm having ones okay here i'm having ones if i have ones like this these eight ones are adjacent to each other okay so can i make a octet group why i started with octet first while grouping we have to look for maximum number of ones maximum number of ones forms the octet so 
if I am having a eight ones like this can I make a group okay this group is called an octet fine next what I have to look for to write its answer for example let me take the output as y y is equal to where I have to see see here these two these two terms I have look into okay as well as this second third fourth okay in this two a a so a remind as it is so I have to write a okay b change to b bar so do I need to write no okay so a as it is a I wrote b change to b bar so I will not write okay come to this side c bar c bar change to sorry c bar it is c bar but c bar it is changed to c once it is changed no need of writing okay I will repeat once c bar it is c bar again c bar change to c c bar change to c once it is changed we will not write okay so c bar I should not write next come to d bar d bar change to d so do I need to write no so what is the answer for this if I have ones like this the answer for this could be y is equal to a okay if I have the same ones here in this place okay leave this let us think we are not having ones here if I have ones here in this place what I'll do I'll make a group that group is called as octet what I have to look for changes okay these ones will be corresponding to these two terms what are the terms a bar b bar and a bar c and here the terms are c bar d bar c bar d c d and c d bar okay so what I have to write I have to write the variables which have not changed see here a bar a bar it is not changed so I have to write a bar answer that is output y is equal to a bar b bar change to b so do I need to write no next c bar change to c bar sorry c bar c bar next c c bar change to c so I will not write you have to check from all these four terms why this block is being spread across all the four terms okay next d bar change to d so I will not write for this the output is y is equal to a bar understood so next possibility would be if I have ones like this how we can do how we can solve okay so if I have eight adjacent ones what I can do I will make a group like this correct so what I have to write what are the terms I have to look into see here this block or this octet is being spread across a bar b bar a bar b a b a b bar correct and c bar d bar c d bar so I have to look all these terms once it is being spread across all these four terms this will get cancelled why see here a bar a bar as it is but a bar to a changed so I will not write a b bar changed to b so I will not write b next we have to see here c bar c bar same so y is equal to c bar c d bar change to d so do I need to write no so if I get a octet like this my answer is y is equal to c bar the same thing if I get this octet here the answer will be c as it is d changed so answer is c fine next special case this is called as rolling the map okay if I have the ones like this you could say it is not possible for us to make an octet right 
why these four ones are not adjacent to each other this four ones are separate and this four ones are separate okay let us think i'm having this as a k map and here i have written the ones okay if i roll this ones like this or like this okay or like this i can touch or these ones will coincide to each other okay if i have a sheet like this okay let us consider this one this one and this one is this part if i fold like this if i fold like this this finger will touch with this one okay meaning this ones will coincide with this so this is a special case called rolling a map okay rolling the map in this case how we have to mark this group okay now what are the columns and rows i have to look into this map is spread across four rows and this column and the last column so i have to look at this as well as first and the last since it is being spread across all the four variables this will definitely get cancels okay why a bar change to a here and b bar change to b here so we will not write next compare these two c bar change to c so i'll not write d bar d bar as it is so the answer is d bar okay what if i have the same ones in this place in this place if i have like this how we will group in the same way can i fold my k map like this okay if i fold like this this is the possibility okay so since it is a possibility what are the rows and columns i have to look into this and this as well as these four for these four c bar change to c so i'll not write d bar change to d so i'll not write look at these two a bar change to a so we will not write b bar b bar as it is so what is the output for this b bar okay understood now let me take one more special case let me have a case like this okay in this case i can make two octets how come this is one octet okay rolling the map and this is one more octet correct in these two octets there is a overlap this one and these two ones have been overlapped meaning used by the group this let me group 